Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for general information and educational purposes only. Students should test cybersecurity techniques in the secured lab setup. I do not take any responsibility, and I am not liable for any damage or problem caused while implementing the tools and technique. This hacking method allows us to submit values into the database, into the website of your own choice. And disclaimer, hacking is illegal. If you want to do any of these hacking activities, only do it on the websites and the application systems that you own or that they receive consent from website to run all these different hacking techniques on. So, right in front of us, I have a website and it states the following choose your favorite security tool. And it states the following, your choice, to make your vote count. So, let's go ahead and select say for example Wireshark and I have your initials BC. Okay, go ahead and click submit vote. And you see right at the bottom, you get the following Wireshark with one vote. Now, the question is, what if we want to go ahead and submit a tool that does not exist in the option? Alright, we don't see that particular hacking tool and it's not listed here. What if we want to add that on our own? Yes, we can do just that. So, what we can do now is go to the top right corner, select on the Foxy proxy and select under Burpsit. Burpsit is going to be our interceptor for us to inject our own values into the website. So, all you can do is open up your terminal and what you can do now is go ahead and enter Burpsit, go ahead and launch that. Our interceptor will help us be able to inject value into the site by tempering, which is the modification of the HTTP method into the site. What we can do now is go ahead and click next and start burp, and now we are starting the project. So, once we are here, go under the proxy tab and ensure that intercept is on. Once your intercept is on, you can see right here, initial your choice to make your vote count, go ahead, and click submit vote. You see the interception right here, right click on this and send it over to repeater. We can see on the left side, we have the request, right at the center we have the response and on the right side we have the inspector. What we can do now is to go ahead on the very first line, you can see the following, we are using a get method, we are trying to pull information out. So, what you want to do instead is use post. We are posting into the site by tampering with the parameter, and what we can do now is the choice we are going to modify this, we are going to change this to something else. What we want to change this into, I'm going to change it to bloody coder and of course what we are going to do now is go ahead and click send. You can see the following, HTTP slash 1.1200. Now, the question is did we manage to push in our own data into the website? So, let's go back onto the website over here. Go to the top right corner and now we are going to turn off the Foxy proxy. Go under WASP 2017, go on the security misconfiguration, method tampering and go ahead and click on the poll question. So, here you got it, right at the bottom we voted two records found, bloody coder has one vote for that. So, that's it. We managed to inject our own data, our own values into the web application server and then persisted that into the database system. Again, I am not saying that Bloody Coder is a hacking tool in the sense that I'm going to be able to do all these hacking services on your behalf. So, do take note of that when I answer Bloody Coder as a hacking tool does not mean that I'm going to be the hacking services that you can subscribe to and then launch your attacks from there because Bloody Coder is a white hat hacker. So, once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept updated of the latest ethical hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching. On to the next one. Peace.